It's a mindset. It's really about who wanted more. It's got to be a different mindset when you want to get that short yard. Short yardage situations aren't always about X's and O's. You have to place your will upon them, and you know they know it's third and one, you know second and one, fourth and one, whatever as well. So they're bringing it off the ball, and we are too. You got to have grit when it's down there. I mean, like the game, like he always he always preaches the game where it was won by inches, you know, and we always just try to move the chains and put points on the board, and that's all about the offensive line. And the Seminoles have improved dramatically in 2016 with Florida State converting on third and short nearly 72% of the time, almost 78% when rushing. What's the difference between this year and last? We've got a good plan for it. We've worked extensively hard on it uh, throughout the offseason and, and this year. And third down, we know we wanted to convert. That was one of the reasons our number of plays we didn't get to where we wanted to last year. And you convert third downs, you get them. And I, I say we're in time of possession, first downs, and third down conversions. We're extremely high, and that's keeping the ball. It helps our defense. It helps our offense. Going back in fall camp, you know, Coach Fisher really harped on short yardage and goal line situation. You know, he challenged us physically. For those things and as offensive line you know that's where we that's where we were born it doesn't hurt having a back as talented as delvin cook either i think that's what we practice every day when coach fisher yelling you know get low you know the lord's man win the game and you know that running back you know he's just back there like man you need this for the team and you know you get that mentality man like that one man break free, he can't, he can't, he can't tackle me. I gotta get the first down. Winning in short yardage has helped the Knolls rank second in the NCAA in time of possession, and could be a key to success in the second half of the season beginning Saturday against Wake Forest. Lane Hurt Seminoles.com.